Welcome back to Dad Meat, bitch. Tim, Tubbs, Danny Dubs. Back at it again. <laughs> we're back, baby. In a devilish mood right now. Oh, no, man. Sorry for all of our live viewers. Sorry we're so late. We were having sex with Larry from the chat's mother. <laughs> Who's I'm also in a wheelchair. No, I'm just playing. Dude. I'm just playing. We would never do that. That's crazy. No, we did. We we made her wheelchair crash into his, and now they're suing each other's insurance for damage. Oh, my God. Yeah, we Eiffel towered Larry from the chat and his mother together, and we high fived on the back of their heads and made them kiss, each, made them French kiss each other deeply. Yeah, we made his mom <laughs> put pegs on her wheelchair. It's very. <laughs> there's a lot of moving parts right now, and a lot of actual parts. So, no, I was stuck in. I was stuck behind an accident on ninety five. Dead and, bro, you know, you know the anticipation. The anticipation builds. Mm -hmm. When you're just sitting there, nothing's moving, and you go, "Ooh!" And now I'm late for something, and everyone's gonna think I'm a fucking dickhead. And you, and then you start getting, you start licking your incisors, and you go, "Well, at least I'm gonna get to see a pretty nasty wreck when I get up there." And I got up there, and dude, it took an hour to go to go no no distance. And I finally get up there, and there's one car. My, like maybe a door was kind of like dent like they'd clearly cleared up every other vehicle and all I got to see was the last one and it was just the car uh, uh, kind of oh, all right Camry and a middle-aged white lady just like oh you know just kind yeah, of annoyed stupid, about the whole thing and I was just like no mm -hmm. I wanted to see fucking flip flops on the ground, dude. I wanted, I wanted to see <laughs> one spinning flip flop. Yeah, <laughs> bro. I wanted to see a, a blood soaked fucking Saudi gown. You oh, know what man. I mean? I, I wanted body parts and carnage. You I, wanted salt death, man. That's what you wanted. I <laughs> saw, and I I didn't get any of it. And I, oh man. And then I, and that was right before the exit to get here. So I just like kind of angrily got off the highway and. Park my car and just. <clears throat> well, let me brighten your mood. I bought you a couple of gifts from. Uh, one's from Mississippi. One is. Oh, how was? Incredible, man. So one's from Mississippi. Mike just went to a place uh, in Mississippi to do Porch Fest, which and uh, let me guess. I have a conceptualization of this. Yeah. I've heard of Porch Fest. Incredible. A long time ago. Yeah. Is it people just putting on shows on their porches in this neighborhood and like trying to do the best show? It was at one time. Yes. But this year it moved to this incredible venue, which serves like these incredible craft beers, and they make uh, they make brick oven pizza called Munson and Brothers in Columbus, Mississippi. And the guy that runs it is named Alan Aldridge, who I've never seen somebody or organize something this this involved so seamlessly. This guy knew what the fuck he was doing. Alan's the man. Alan, if you're watching, thank you for everything. Me, Drew, Naeem, and Rob had the time of our lives, and it was just an incredible weekend. And, uh, you seem uh, you seem really impressed with uh, the organization. It's not. I, it, Were you guys preparing to get to arrive at a shit show? Well, I mean, we've out of all the shows we've done, there's always like some weird fucking butt mm -hmm. fuckery happening. But this was like the exception. Like we got. Treated. It's almost a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was aces top to bottom. Everyone had a really good time. And I'm just like, all right, well. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I did kind of have Couldn't, my mood like, at sullied. least try to ruin all of our lives. The hell, man. Well, fortunately for I did have my mood soured by running over a possum. Ooh, gross. Yeah, and uh, I drove a little bit past it, and I was like, I got to go back and end him. I got to go back and give it CPR. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want it to die. I didn't want it to suffer. How so did Drew take this? He loves possible. <laughs> he made dude, a jerky out of it. <laughs> dude, he's like, pull back around. I'll grab it by the tail and slam it on the hood. <laughs> 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 but I was going to do the humane thing and just run this thing the fuck over and end him. Yeah. However, yeah. as we were like like speeding up to try and hit him, he was like, like mustering all his strength to get off the side of the road, which was devastating. <laughs> um, so that was the only sour part of the weekend. But we had a ton of fun. Um, we met a guy who owned a, a local gym. This guy, Jake Reeves, who owns Relentless MMA, had us come train there. We had fun. And he's like, uh, if you guys want to, uh, there's, there's a tough man competition in Columbus. So we went to this like... Uh, this insane competition where the grand prize was 1500 bucks and it was just regular ass people fighting their asses off. That's and, real Mississippi stuff. Dude, and I got you this t-shirt from there, which has the coolest logo on anything I've ever seen. It's the Possum Town Throwdown. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Dude, let me see. Yo. <laughs> dude, there was an wow. obese girl Thank fighting a skinny much, girl. Yeah, I got you this other thing, too, in Ocean City when I went a couple weeks ago, but I forgot to give it to you. It's just sumo. Style. Oh, my God, your hand is shaking. Are you yeah. okay? I am. I'm a little nervous right now, man. Oh, well, I love your gift. I, I, you are such a thoughtful gift giver. Thank and you, I, man. you really knocked it out of the park with both of these gifts. Oh, wow. Yeah, but oh, Columbus man. rules, man, and I, I had the best weekend with Thank those guys. You, I love you so much. Oh, no, I love you too. But I, oh, one thing real quick about the possum: when we were debating what to do with its life, 
uh, <laughs> we couldn't find it. And uh, I think Rob said, like, we should try to find it. And uh, Naeem's like, what are we going to do? There ain't no possum doctors out here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? Did you? No, he scurried away. He's probably he's no. dead by now. No, he's... Nah, he's probably made a recovery, dude. I'm, but possum heaven is nice. So if he went there, that's fine. Was it a possum or an opossum? What is the difference? I'm not sure. I mean, uh, are they Irish? I mean, are they just fucking everywhere? I mean, they're all in shirts. <laughs> <laughs> like... Are... <laughs> Are they just everywhere where you're at? They're on shirts. They're on the roads. Yeah, well, possums th- everywhere you look. Yeah, and- Native Americans like named it Possum Town because they were yeah, just fucking know. everywhere. So, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Danny's got us. Opossums and possums are different animals. Opossums live in North and South America, while possums live in Australia and other countries. So you saw an opossum. Yeah, I refuse to say that though. Opossum. Yeah. Why? I don't like it. Because I mean, why? It's yeah. the same animal. Same shit. Yeah. So it's like, why should mm-hmm. I add an O to it? Territorial. Names, stupid. No, I mean it's ours. It's our opossum. Oh yeah, they are a little different. I mean, we got the white head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, the opossums are driving down property values. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they are a little different though. <laughs> dude, dude, I ran, I ran a fucking. Well, they only live a year, by the way. Uh, that's why I was asking. Oh, I man. just watched a video about opossums, and apparently they're much more intelligent than uh, most people realize. Oh no. But they all like uh, they live one to two years. That's well, like their lifespan. He was big, so, so this had like, to be his year. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, man. Nice. <laughs> you got to experience every season. See you later. Incredible, man. Tubbs, what did you hit? Yeah, I, I, I cr- killed a family dog on my birthday. <laughs> uh, I actually with felt, your like, car, or your gun, <laughs> with my car. So, and it's funny. My mom just called me like, "Oh, happy birthday, sweetie!" Like six thirty in the morning, and just boom, 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 boom. Like I. I he scurried out of the yard, I guess. I didn't fucking see him. Like, he made it through the blind spot. I caught him right under the mirror of my truck. Yeah. Both tires, dog. Boom, 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 boom. I pulled over. I was like, Mom, I got to call you back. Well, that's like the baseline for let's yeah. get it started. Yeah. <laughs> I went around the corner, dead as a door now. Yeah. I pulled up next to him. I called the cops, dude. I was like, listen, I got work. I got shit I got to do. Someone can you come, yeah, can you come counsel the I family? honked. I would, like, waited for somebody to come outside. You know, don't know whose house it was, but dude, how can get it run over dark? Note. It's like doggy CPR. Yeah, you yeah. should have left the note on him. I mean, <laughs> a Mr. Tubbs business card, like, you know what I mean? And all of April, we got yeah. discounts. Hey, I'm calling. <laughs> I yeah, yeah, I I hope this is the right number. I think you killed my dog with a car. Yeah. Nah, man. Yeah. Okay. Just, cool. Yeah. So, um, how are we gonna handle this? Yeah, I, I felt terrible. It was my birthday and shit. I forget what birthday. You could have put him in a nice pose. Years, you yeah. could have made him look like he was <laughs> just like <laughs> put his paws. Nah. Like and that's <laughs> chilling. It looked like an older dog. Like yeah. he was just out in the middle of the road. I would have taken uh, him to a bus stop and put him in like a trench coat and given him sunglasses. <laughs> I would have left him sitting on a bunch stop <laughs> bench. Dude, he looked older, but I think it's just because I ran him over. He yeah. it, dogs it, only it, live it, like two years. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Dude, we got that's right now these two fucking dogs we got, bro. They are the worst. They're the ugliest two dogs I ever seen. <laughs> Don't go to the Amish land and get duped <laughs> for fucking three grand for two of the ugliest, most inbred fucking animals. What kind of dog do you get for three grand? <laughs> it was two. So it was fourteen hundred a pop. <coughs> so a little shy of three grand, but what uh, was the allure of that? Don't you just know people giving away do- or like rescuing and- So my first dog, Howie, the best boxer ever, uh got that motherfucker out of swimming pool in North Philly like mm-hmm. you're supposed to, right? Yeah. This was like, I don't know, we just, we didn't have a dog for a while after how we kicked the bucket, we were a little devastated, and we we're like, all right, we got to get some dogs. This is this yeah. is our last chance at dogs. Mm-hmm. My kids, 12 and 8, right? These are their yeah, last dogs. Yeah, you're not going to start a new dog nah, after yeah, they're out of the house. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, this is it, right? So uh, we went to Amish land, dude, they're fucking, I loved having a St. Bernard when I was younger, right? Mm-hmm. So we found many St. Bernards, total retarded dogs that they're breeding in Amishville, they shouldn't be selling to anybody. I mean, these dogs are ugly as shit. They're ugly. They're retarded. They suck. Mm-hmm. We drive out there. They're safe. Is it, wait, wait, is it that or is it just that like you have normal people taste in dogs and these guys are like the real deal no, dog they're, people? They're uh, they're the ugliest dogs I've ever seen. <laughs> and we drove out there, Cocker Spaniel, St. Bernard. How did you find out about this? This uh, I'm Looking up St. Bernard's, see mini St. Bernard, fucking drove there. Uh, they had a whole litter. Wait, they posted it on the internet? Yeah, yeah. They got like a whole thing. There's a whole scam. people did? Yeah, they, they got a whole scam. That should be, well, first of all, first red he flag. Does con- <laughs> he does concrete, dog. He got to work This is truck, something right? that you need to see on like a wooden sign. Yeah. What are they called? They're like Mennonites, dude. They got electric. Oh, uh, okay. Shit, right? uh, well, so it's completely different. Yeah, it's this whole family tree of fucking dog breeders. Um, you know what? Mennonites are completely different from Amish people. How so? Well, they're still like Amish. They just got like electricity. In but, I th- but I, but yeah. I, 
But I think it's an important distinction because when I think Amish, I go, no, those, those people probably are pretty good at dogs. Yeah, well, not these ones. No, the, but the men, Mennonites, who the, fu- who the fuck knows? Yeah. No one knows what those guys are Rope up to. Rope dogs. So they roped you out there? Yeah. Took, and then, you, took you for every last once you, If you don't want dogs, don't bring kids to see dogs. Yeah. And that was it. The kids got in a little fucking playpen. You're thinking, yeah. we'll see which dog is the perfect fit. And yeah. the first one that like licks them, they go, this is the best dog yeah. I've ever lived. So we got the biggest and the smallest. And Marvin Harry, dude. Fucking the wet bandits. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah. they're terrible. <laughs> Yeah, you know? no. I mean, they're good with like they don't shit in the house or nothing. But like, yeah. ah, just are you supposed fucking... to give your kids a dog? One just chews on the other one on his ears and shit. Mm. Are you are you are you are you letting your children down if you don't give them a dog? I feel like it's a family home thing, dude. I live that suburb life now. You know, I got a backyard. I got a fenced in. So yeah. I feel like there's got to be dogs around. And again, this is the last run at it. Once Marvin Harry kicked the bucket. No, no, no. Of course, yeah. of course. I'm just I'm examining my own decisions. I think we've been raising Fritz like a dog. If I'm being honest. <laughs> We've been raising Fritz like a family dog because he's so much younger than the other two. Yeah, you... we all kind of just like <laughs> scratch him behind the ears all day. <laughs> I don't know, Dude. but absolutely not on a real dog. But did they come with the barrel around their neck? And uh, did you put high life in it? <laughs> Dude, I wish. I, the, the other Saint Bernard I had was actually fucking cool. He was like uh, that dog ruled, and we named him fucking Bernard. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Bernie Whoa. turned into Bernie, but he was cool. He was the man. But these two, they fucking suck, dude. Now, are they pleasant when you go to buy these dogs from them? Because they don't strike me as nice people. No, they were like, uh, yeah, there was. They had one little fucking animal of a child that was just in the thing, throwing the dogs around. They're like, Alex, get out of there, you know. But they were just a fucking family. The dude did concrete, man. They were mm. they were playing Amish. They're just flipping dogs out there. I saw Amish people at the uh, Lancaster Balloon Festival. Oh. And uh, there was an Amish family sitting on the grass near us. Everyone sitting on like you know towels and stuff, waiting for the balloons to go up. And um, the boys were just so rambunctious. They were like wrestling each other hard as fuck mm. in the grass. And the parents were just like, "Yep." And I went, "Wow, man! Finally, someone someone gets it." Wow, man! You gotta let these little motherfuckers go crazy on each other. Aggressively or hard? So aggressively, like so, like like try like the like a little brother was wrestling his older brother. Trying with every ounce to just get a little bit of a win, oh, okay. dude. I thought you meant like their trousers were pointing out a little bit, <laughs> like gay. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't get out much. <laughs> you think there's gay Amish people? Oh God, man! They probably hate their guts. I mean, they're probably so scared to be gay up there. That's all religion, right? I don't know. You could probably yeah. get away with it more than anywhere else. That's got to be uh, as religion. Far- religion's like the number one hater of gays. You're always helping guys in in Amish world, so it's like that's like the gateway to gay. I think God, I think they live by God out there, dude. They yeah. do get rum springer though, so that's the time where you want to pork your Jebediahs. You know, as far as like forbidden forbidden sex acts go, and I'm being serious, I think it's got to be in contention for at least top three most forbidden sex acts is being an Amish guy and getting butt fucked in like a bale of hay <clears throat> in the barn at night. Hmm. Yeah, these motherfuckers know. Getting getting chat. fuck dude, getting fucking just busted in by Ishmael. <laughs> A lot Hoping of, not to d- to stir the horses so they don't make any noise. Oh no, that's got to be such a great. For but me. as a man, like you, you want the horses stirred, you know. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> you want to make them. Uh, Dude, that's an Amish orgasm. You want to make them mad. <laughs> <laughs> get the horses riled up, baby. Yeah, if you're gonna get wrecked, you might as well make a little noise. The whole barn's coming. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be. That's got to be awesome. But yeah, every time we go to the Shady Mape, dog, the yeah. fucking middle of the gay I'm yeah. saying the it. Shady Gape. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try the glory hole? <laughs> yeah, they put hot sauce on it. It's crazy. But, but the boys in the chat show up, dude. They know all about the Amish out there. Yeah, every man. motherfucker I chill with, the two Shady Mabel things, they're all out there, man. They're all I think fucking Elizabeth. We are Town communicating. We're communicating yeah. directly with people who are one degree from Amish. Yeah, fucking right. They that's know our, what's up. That's they know what's comment. going on in them mm-hmm. barns, dude. Mm-hmm. They're out there riding their dirt bikes and shit. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. God, man. Yeah, peeking so, over. Yeah, dude, the shady maple was uh, incredible. Heaven. And I'll tell you, I'll never get over. <laughs> there was two things that happened that, I, that that were incredible, and one was when you guys put that helmet on fucking Kenny, and there was a Puerto Rican family over in the corner, and. The goddamn dad and son laughed so hard when you when you when said with a golden when helmet. You, with the golden <laughs> helmet and his face at the bottom of it, like just boom, right at the bottom of this helmet. Insane. He let a big smile. Look at our guy. Look yo, at our most he let a big smile guy. out. And one of you said, It's kind of, yo, we're really proud of this one. It's like we built a retard from scratch. Yeah. And it's true. I mean every word. And yo, 
That fucking dad and son laughed, and that mom and daughter did not, bro. <laughs> and I looked right over at them. Oh, uh, it was amazing. Yeah. Two, they, <laughs> they laughed so fucking hard. They couldn't catch their breath. There was also a church group there <laughs> yeah. that didn't know they were a part of, like, a retard of the year so, ceremony. They That's fuck- part of the charm. No, they- it happened last year with the fucking pipe fitters union. <laughs> they, they fucked up the seating. So they, they sat other people at a table real close to us, and Jim Gillespie and a couple dudes sit there. And this hillbilly guy comes over, and I've never seen somebody ignore somebody to this extent in my life. But he was like, hey, uh, you guys sitting here? And just everybody at the table completely acted like he didn't exist and ignored him. And he said, oh, I, I fucking guess not. And he walked away, dude. It was incredible. <laughs> Whoa. My hat goes off to Real Jim Gillespie retards, for dude. being the most stone-cold man on earth. He never wavered. He looked fucking straight like oh, that no. fucking hillbilly Should've in a flannel didn't bit, exist. Man. Dude, it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. They were so pissed off <laughs> that yeah. they had to go sit the whole family over at the other side. <laughs> yeah. And then we kept pouring in. Yeah. There was there was 50 people there, right? Yeah. It's like 70, actually. Yeah, I counted. At least. I had oh, counted. Uh, amazing. And there was, one, there was another table of people who were close. Like, we were like the first like section of tables and one was like cut off from the rest of like the general public (laughs) because we didn't call ahead. So there was one family in this like banquet room and then they filled every table around them with retarded guys. Now the goal next year is to fill the entire banquet room. So we would need like probably three times what we had to do that. I do. There's there's nothing specific, but remember we were saying we wanted to like kind of turn it into like its own thing next Mm -hmm. year. Well, uh, um, Sam Talon hit me up and said that he wanted to come. Mm. And then he said he's going to be here in November and we should think about um, doing like a like a collaborative, cool getaway. Like, Let's do it. Uh, thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, and I said, yeah, it sounds like a great idea. And then I said, I'll, I'll, I'll let it kick around in my head. Yeah, let's do that. But something something along those dude, lines. Me and a couple of the boys went down there, picked fucking Baranasaur shirts out and shit, dude. It was, oh, it dude. was awesome. We got some sick gear. Yeah, it's crazy how many yeah. dudes are brain damaged. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, it's, uh, it's so reassuring to me. Yeah, yeah. Shady Maple is like fucking um, Atlantis for retarded dudes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> dude, when you yeah. walked in, he said, I sat in traffic for an hour. But I rolled the perfect blunt for us. I did. And God, did you? I did. Oh, I did that sitting yeah. in my seat. I also, yeah. uh, this is the first very warm day, and I didn't know that, that the, our seat warmers have been on this whole time. So the whole time I'm thinking that the sun's just roasting me, and I didn't even check to think the seat warmer. So my ass, I'm sitting in basically a wet diaper. <laughs> my thighs were scorched, and I, I'm, I was just boiling mad with a wet ass. Speaking of which, my least favorite feeling. Would you consider doing a diaper day? I feel like this has come up before. <laughs> why I, I, why I, does this keep coming up? I can't let shit smash up under my nuts. No. Like you can or can't? I, could, I can't. Oh, okay. I could never just sit there while the shit smashed up under my nuts. And I drink so much. I'm a, mm-hmm. I don't know if there's a definition for alcoholic, but <laughs> I, I, I mean, I bet you if you fucking put us next, I don't know, we're probably pretty close. And I don't, yeah, like I gotta really take my vitamins <laughs> and like religiously without forgetting. You have to stay and, on your silly yeah, husk, dude. If I'm good, so I couldn't imagine shitting That's twelve high nice. lives mm. into a diaper. When you when you nuts. drink the way a dude's supposed to, like yeah. you'd have nothing but shit trouble. Mm. I, yeah, I mean, I could shit twice before like seven a.m. Yeah, it's you're always just like letting yeah. a little. Happen. Yeah, I'm always just like, <laughs> I'm always just like yo, it's the first thing that happens. That's cool. Yeah, once I start uh, doing anything other than being a fat piece of shit, the first thing that happens is the shit gets solid. Jesus Christ, one dude. white, you're out of there. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, I got the bidet seat still, baby. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a plug right now. <laughs> Listen, Toto nor rest. <sighs> If you got the eight hundred, you got to get hooked up it. with a sponsorship. Yeah, if you got the eight hundred, <laughs> it's worth it. But you could spend two fifty, you know. But let me let me just say, if you guys ever wanted to do a diaper day to see you can stay in their diaper <laughs> the longest, I would be up for it. <laughs> so I, you're not allowed yeah. to piss or shit outside of the diaper. Yeah, no, you, you just got to keep it. The last man to have his diaper sealed. on is the winner. It's the clear winner. We're putting padlocks on each of the <laughs> clips. <laughs> yeah, on each hip, there's going to be a two man key. <laughs> To make sure that no one ever cheats at this. Yeah, the keys will be in a briefcase handcuffed to a man's hand. Uh, it's going to come out of the diaper on your leg. We're going to walk yeah. around with off briefcases handcuffed to us <laughs> in diapers with no pants for an entire day. 
No. <laughs> See, it's already Dude, funny. We don't even have so one. so bad at 11 <laughs> o'clock. Dude, I can shit at will. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need no time in between shit. All right, I so would, here's another. I'd fill this You're motherfucker saying, up right how away. How long could you go like this? I, I, I would bet I could go an entire day. All right. Yeah. Oh, and I think the fuck. we could have <laughs> no way. Tubs. Hey, you piss like a man. You don't piss like a baby. I know, but long. <laughs> it's gonna no be way. sop, dude. You're gonna be dripping. <laughs> I know. Oh, the it's not work. gonna be clean, dude. This, this is, is gonna be disgusting. <laughs> No you, might as well be, just, you might as well just go naked uh, from the waist down. It's you'd be you'd be better off. You do yeah, just you as can't wear pants. You might you would, yes. Yeah, you wouldn't be carrying the shit. <laughs> this will one hundred percent be an longer, unnecessary nightmare. I, I could go There's longer nude. Cool about this. I could go longer <laughs> nude from the waist down than you could in a diaper. I don't think so. I guarantee. No, nope. <laughs> yeah, he should have to wear like white long johns so we can I, see them johns just. <laughs> 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 It's just <laughs> pulling around your ankles. Ew. Oh. I'm just shaking, shaking I'm my feet. Yeah. I'm fine. You don't even care. You have two I'm pieces. I'm freezing from there. my wet pants. I don't want to see it. Yo, imagine oh, the diaper man. wind when you unlock that thing finally. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't imagine having a diaper rash. <laughs> Fucking 38 years old. You always got to hold your shit behind your legs. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, man, you could do that at, uh, as a grown man. <laughs> you should just—I uh, mean, I, I would. I don't want to partake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at yeah. no, it. Now that you yeah. now it sounded great at first, <laughs> but when you explain it, I kind of is unappealing. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I unloaded my pants, yeah. man. Kind of wondering lately. My wife shit herself at the front door one time. But I'm I'm good. I gotta clean. On the way out or in? In. Jeez, like how much? Like enough just to wear? Like this is shit. Or yeah, this she shit is like, she like, coiled. She, she coiled in her pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she shit herself at the front door. <laughs> On the way in the house, and she was like, not, "It's funny." So, so what, I don't yell at my wife, but this I yelled at her this yeah. day. We uh, <laughs> it was like pandemic, like peak, like can't even go in a restaurant. Everybody's being mm. weird. So I was so happy to go get like hoagies, and we got twenty-two ounce Heinekens. We each got four, Ooh. and she had to shit so bad. Said we, we each got four. We each got we got four. We each got two. I meant yeah. We got four. <laughs> all right, all right. So we we stood in the back. We opened the trunk. You still couldn't be in anywhere, and all she did was complain that she had to shit. And I like yelled at her. I like threw my hoagie down. And, like drove us <laughs> home. And all she did, like, what are you you fucking ruining this? You know what I mean? Oh my like, god, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, yeah and all she did was dude. complain. That's dude. the perfect time for that because yeah. imagine like other people are gradually venturing out. Like, oh my god, yeah. what, I miss. I forget what outside's like. Then you see a plumber spiking a hose <laughs> and a lady <laughs> screaming about shit. Yeah, I was pissed. Oh dude. man, you're ruining my time too. Oh man, <laughs> wow. I feel like, yeah, Tubbs. I truly feel like your life is a sitcom taking place inside the head of a brain injured man, and we're all just background <laughs> yeah. characters in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my view on the entire world. That's the creation theory. <laughs> yeah, it had to be a fucking retard's brain. There's no way. It's nuts. Yeah. Is that the worst shit-related incident that your wife has had? Because my wife had some pretty bad ones. Well, she shut herself at the front door. She was, like, code red at the door. Um, <laughs> that was that time. But, yeah, the, the only time she really pissed me off <laughs> <laughs> was Dude, lady when I was shit trying to eat make my you fucking mad. hoagie and drink a beer, and she just kept complaining that she had to take a fucking shit. <laughs> um I'm just, other than that, yeah, I think she's good. I think she's in the clear, dude. I mean, my kids always shit themselves, dude. My kids shit. Them, I, I don't know if I told this already, but my kid, if, you know, Angelo Cataldi, you know, the jerk off. I hate from him, the, yeah. All right, hate him, right? Yeah. So listen. So the, one time, Dalton turns has a birthday, and we go paintball in the morning, and my little girl says something about shitting in the porter potty. Mm-hmm. We take her in. Whatever happens, happens. We go home, take naps. We're like, we're gonna go to Britain Hams, some fucking restaurant by us. We go there, we're sitting there, and all the whole ride there and everything, Tiffany is just like, yo, like someone smells like shit. And I'm always just like, shut the fuck up. Nobody smells like shit, right? You know, you're just <laughs> You're so, so stupid. Yeah. So, so just keep saying someone smells oh, like shit. Oh, you think everything smells like shit? Shut no. up. <laughs> so we get there, we sit at our table. Angelo Cataldi like lives in Chestnut Hill, I think, or something. He comes walking by with his wife. We like lock eyes, and I've never seen somebody look like don't fucking talk to me more like that in my life. And I wouldn't because who gives a fuck about Angelo Cataldi, right? 
So they sit him up like a couple steps right next to us, and they're facing each other. And he keeps looking down, and he's like, Olivia's below him. Like, he's up on the thing. Olivia's here. I'm facing this motherfucker. Boom. Tiffany and Dalton. He keeps looking down. And I know when somebody's talking shit about me. Like, I know when somebody's saying. Oh, this family smells know, like shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I know when somebody's saying something about me, right? So I'm like, dude, Andrew's looking tall. He's talking shit. He keeps saying something, right? So I said to Tiffany, we go outside. As soon as we go outside, Olivia's like, yo, my butt's bumpy. Doug, we pulled her pants back. She shit her entire <laughs> pants at paintball that morning. So she's been just living in Fermenting. the crust <laughs> of shit. So I told her, we told her the next day, we're like, yo, all living that guy. Yo, we're like, all that guy talked about on the radio today was how some little girl stunk like shit <laughs> at Britain Ham's restaurant. Do we still to this day crush her? Like, remember you shit yourself in front of that famous guy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, we crush her, dude. dude. <laughs> I, I, I mean. <laughs> Oh, it's one of those funny times you never forget, you know? <laughs> Dude, that might be the most powerful a child can be is shitting their pants. Yeah. Yeah. Pubs might be the number one man in America. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> You're the number one man in America for sure. Yo, yo, it's just easy to have. Kids we should be to make fun I, of them. honestly. We need to we need to put a glass dome <laughs> around your family and make sure we preserve it and study it. <laughs> If we don't get every, uh, I mean, there's data that, I mean, we're never going to encounter again. <laughs> oh, Please, yeah. dude. Go. I, I this is how, important I, stuff. I don't know how I scored so, yeah, uh, every once in a while. Write you to know? your senators. Yeah. Please, dude, we need to start, <laughs> we need to start acting now if we're going to preserve this forever. Now, are you a poop accident, man? <laughs> so... I shit myself one time when I was too old to shit myself, and kids made fun of me. I could have been 10. But since then, I remember getting made fun of, and I never shit myself again after that. You know what I mean? But they were crushing me, you know what I mean? I think, like, shit came out my shorts. It was like a summer day in the neighborhood. I grew up like Adams and Boulevard, Crescentville. You know? this is so every, I think every school has yeah. a kid, every grade has a kid who shits himself. Yeah. And then they end up, like, changing schools because it's they never find a way back in. <laughs> and you wonder, like, what the hell happens to the shit is pants kid? And it's just like, I found him. <laughs> I found, <laughs> a, I found the shit is pants kid for you guys. There's every, there, yeah. you, there's no questions left. <laughs> you know. Yeah, they crushed me. But, you know, you don't want to get crushed, don't shit your pants. Yeah, Yo, if anybody out there is a shit your pants kid that had to change schools, please let us know Dude. about your experience. Yeah, let's do the fact, the <laughs> shit your pants and had yeah. to change schools check-in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we want to hear from you. Hit us, the, hit us up in the comments yeah. down below if you're a guy who shit his pants and had to change schools because they made fun of you so much. <laughs> yeah, what do you think they say when they change schools? How do you think they lie to the other kids? It was like, oh, I killed a guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I molested killed a child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yanked on a kindergartner's penis really hard. <laughs> so hard his tongue shot And they out. made me change schools. Would you help your kids change schools? If, if they shit their pants? Yeah. Nah. They come home, they're like... No, nah, I like to think i Completely I've, mortified. I like to think I've built children who could withstand a pants shitting, but I also think I've made children who are extremely likely to shit their pants. So I couldn't agree with anything any more than that. Like, that is said perfectly. I feel like I've raised kids that could withstand a shitting. Like, I crush them. Everyone already. likes to think that yeah, they have. Yeah. Until it hits you in the face, you go, oh, no, you're the shitting." But I see, I see kid. the kids that can't handle a shitting in school. You see them out here. They're all over the place. Yeah, man. They're on every baseball field in America right That's now. That's NPC kids. <laughs> 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 That's crazy, man. This is the most vile content ever created. <laughs> <laughs> this it's is good, radioactive you know, content. Well, when you came, you said, I rolled the perfect blunt. And I said, you want to just get fucked up? And you were like, dude, I don't got nothing to do. Yeah. So that's it. This is it for us. I'm at work. This is what we're doing. It's fucking, I never, I look like such a DUI piece of shit, dude. I'm well. in my construction clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I'm in my construction clothes. I got... Two beers in my pouches here. My fucking. We have cargos. a fridge. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is on the way here. I got beer in a coffee cup, and I waved down a fucking Uber. <laughs> he picked yeah. me up, and he dropped me off at Mix Bar up the street. Oh, yeah. There's no From one drunker than a guy who looks like he worked all day. Yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. I always kind of jealous. Like, 
on a rain day, you know, a little rain's coming down. You drive by the corner bar, and there's just like two, three roofers out there. Mm. Like, that's it for us, dog. Bud Ice. Doesn't it? Do, I'm uh, always kind of jealous. Don't all the trades? Aren't there a bunch of trades that get off when it rains? Nah, mostly like roofers, concrete guys. Concrete, yeah, I was just about roofers. That's where they. Concrete. That's where they convene. Yeah, a rainy like, day and a glazers, fucking... iron workers. <sighs> Wow. But plumbers don't get offered that shit. I guarantee those, uh, for, you know, Adam for Adam are, are probably the funniest places on the planet. Oh, without a doubt. Um, you go to a paddy wax on a fucking uh, on a rainy, rainy day. Tuesday at that 11. Will, Tommy yeah. took me to uh, an electrician bar one time um, on a Friday afternoon at like 4 o'clock. And it was like, whoa. I was, yeah. I was rocked to my core. By how much funnier these guys are than uh, comedians. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. They all hate their wives. <laughs> they're all. Yeah. They all look like they're gonna die soon. Yeah. Well, it's fifty-two, baby. Yeah. You know? Sun. You're sunburnt or obese. Yeah. Or like struggling with a cocaine habit. But like great guys. But you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Very solid yeah. dudes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Marlboro's, it's a sustainable lifestyle for people. Yeah. Marbles will get you too. But I always, yeah. uh, I'm always jealous of them guys on the rain day. Because they always got, you know, they just look so happy. <laughs> like, it's, it's heavy. Yeah, yeah it's is, heavy. Is there any version of it's a rain a snow day, day for a plumber? Nah, we got, uh, we did a curb trap the other day. We got rained on a couple of times. I got a tent. Just, you know. Not big. Yeah, life in the big city, man. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be out here. I, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, You're the best ever, yeah, man. We just do our you best. seriously are the number one man in America. <laughs> yeah, we do our best. No, the, the bubs throw out, baby. I get so much work. I might start. I'm going to start you a know? campaign to let people know that not even that there's a contest, just that there is one. <laughs> I'm starting a number one man in America, and we're just letting people know it's but dude, the, Mr. The, Tubbs. Dude. The bubs put out, Kevin McCool. <laughs> Fucking oh, cool, Kevin McCool. Cool, Kevin McCool. Been doing shit with him. How uh, is he not doing HVAC? Well, yeah, he does it all. I mean, he's he's a better plumber <laughs> than me. So, yeah, he's a. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he's 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 uh, he's sober. He's got his shit together. Oh, he's the man. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, I'm out homies. here fucked up. It's one of my homies at Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. No, I was uh, be, like people people have like uh, I don't know like signed up at our. Uh, uh, jiu Jitsu Academy who who know at least or aware of me. So it's like I I do I you know Yeah the bubs I, I get out, to train dude. with the homies sometimes. Yeah. It's pretty fucking cool, man. On all aspects, tons of plumbing shit, man. These guys are <laughs> awesome. That's fucking rainy. I put, <laughs> so well, a couple months ago, I, I, it looked like a tough time in a rainy household when I came over to put a faucet in. Blood on the walls. Uh, yeah, and uh, <laughs> lucky for him, we were doing domestic violence victim discounts all month, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yo. <yeah. laughs> so, dude. <laughs> yeah. When I walked in, everybody was looking in a different direction. <laughs> and and, and he said, I almost moved out of his fucking faucet. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I couldn't. I said, Randy, I don't want any money, brother. <laughs> I said, I just hope. I just hope this turns around, <laughs> and I hope I see you again soon. <laughs> and we hugged each other, <laughs> and I went. You know, <laughs> I went on my way. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so if you're having try to try to schedule your plumbing problems aware around where you're you're fucking thinking about killing your spouse. <laughs> Everyone was looking different directions. <laughs> I was just like, hey guys. I heard like one or two like hey tubs. <laughs> and I was like, I gotta blow this workout. The cats are trying to run out yeah. as soon as the fucking door opens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to blow that workout. I was like, this man needs help. But that's the thing, yo. We get domestic violence victims discounts. That's stupid. You know what I mean? No, what's, no, the, no. what's the code yeah. for that? I'm saying if he's smacking you around now, wait till he gets that water bill. <laughs> you know, the toilet's <laughs> running. You better get this shit fixed. <laughs> <What's> over? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, man. I seriously might puke. <laughs> yeah, wait, I might fucking puke. <laughs> Mr. Tubbs plumbing and beating. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Uh, and it's funny. So when we were with the bubs at at the, at, at, at the Shady Mate, I started talking about it a little bit, and out, all over my shoulder, Jamie's head was like boom out from like two people. Like, what's up, Tubbs? I was like, nothing. <laughs> no, I, I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm glad it worked out. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, but for real, uh, <laughs> that sink was, uh, it was possessed. That sink was like, whatever was happening there ended up causing more friction in my home than that home's ever experienced. Yeah, I saw. So you fixing the sink oh, yeah. was the start of the repairing. Yeah. I'm glad I could be, and that's, that's what we do, man. That's why we're here, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, Gobble Yo, and that's a nice faucet, right? It's all right. We got no yeah. issues. We did some, uh, <laughs> we did a housing project, Monument Village off of uh, City Line Ave. Hmm. I had a bunch of those left over, dog. Oh, there yeah. you go. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Tiffy no got issues. a <laughs> Tiffy got an eBay hustle going. She's trying to sell oh, old faucets, God, but she got to drop the price a few bucks. Nobody's biting, dude. In the, I mean, in, who can afford anything? You know? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every last time. I mean, wow. <laughs> Man, where? No, come on, you gotta. Where do, where do we go from? Up, where do we dude. go from there? Where do we? I, I see. I need a. I need to. Can we regroup for a minute? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Tubbs, can you remember the worst situation that you walked in on as a plumber? Ooh. Oh, I think I told somebody stories with cancel. Um. Oh, hold on, John. Isn't there some kind of plumber's code that stops you from revealing this stuff? No, I mean, it's always bugs, dude. It's always bugs, and and I wouldn't give out no addresses, but but that's always the worst shit for a plumber, dude. Like when the seams of the door, like when you open the door to the pantry, like are perfectly square with eggs, yeah. you know, like house are fat, like even in the bathroom they're running across the walls. Yeah, so that's always the most skeevy. But I've been lucky, especially lately. Like I. I'm, I honestly, I honestly, growing up, I thought that was just like a genre of friend's house. Yeah, no, nah, I mean. Like super crazy, nasty house. I was just like, yeah, you know, maybe every other, like every every fourth house on the block yeah. has crazy nasty. bugs and mice. And but, you know. I thought it was normal. I thought yeah. every house had bugs and mice. That's that's the toughest thing. You don't want to get on the walls and shit like that. You know what I mean? What, yeah. One time this guy was like drinking Bud Ice Pounders in the morning. And we went in and he was in like just sitting on the couch. And the basement was like moving. It was like all kinds of weird shit. And we're like, man, what happened? To, what, what happened down there? And he said, man, like two years ago, the zinc got stopped at the floor, so I just cut it off. So like his kitchen sink and disposal was just draining into the basement floor. Oh, no. he said, and he said two years. It could have been a hundred years. <laughs> I mean, who fucking knows? He was drunk. But uh, that I had to go in that basement all day long. It was terrible. It was, uh, it was like shit moving on the floor. We put like duct tape our shit and put boots on. The best plumber I ever was, I made $15 an hour because now I ain't doing that shit. I'd be like, nah, motherfucker, whoa. call somebody else. But the best, out, you know, 15 bucks an hour out here getting it, I did everything they asked. It was terrible. Dude. Yeah. Wait, what was draining on the floor? Just the utility sink? The kitchen sink. sink. No, the like kitchen, kitchen sink. sink. Yeah, like garbage disposal. Like kitchen sink, and he cut just the through p- a hole in the in floor. The floor. Yeah, like the he basement. cut the pipe right at the floor <laughs> because it was getting backed up. Because it was getting backed, up. and it was deep. Oh my god! Yeah, so, you just swear off the kitchen or the basement at that the point. basement, dude. Yeah. You shut the door, you shut it, and it was like it wasn't deep, but that shit was slick, boy. Hmm. How could you ever admit that to somebody? Because he don't give a fuck. Because your butt, at, your butt ice here. Yeah. Yeah, that dude didn't care. How does he not come up with just like I don't know what happened, but it's really wet yeah. down there, and I don't know pipes. I'm a civilian, you know. Yeah, I mean, how how do you do? But I still bring it out of you. <laughs> yeah. So Coldwell Bank used yeah. to. There was like a. Oh, hopefully we don't get letters in the mail or something. <laughs> 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 Coldwell Bank owned a bunch of the shittiest homes in like North Philly and shit that I've ever seen, and they treated everybody like shit. Like you felt bad, like they're scumbags. It was like a branch of them. Mm-hmm. It was like a branch that they had. So it's like somewhere. a corporate slumlord. Yeah, and he was just, and it was one guy. You know, oh. he was just a fucking, you know, he was. Oh, like, it's just one guy? No, but like, yeah, it was like through the Coldwell Bank thing, but there was a guy he dealt with. And he, of course, he was a fucking Anthony, bro. You know what I mean? Just hair slicked back, just jerk off ass, fucking. Real dude. slick dude. Yeah. And um, 
they just ran all them houses like shit and treated everybody like shit and everybody hated them. So every house you went in to fix something, they were just like shit and fucking uh, destroying dude, the place. They were know? pooping in their tank. Yeah, they would they would they would <laughs> shit in all kinds of weird places. They're they, shitting in their tank, dude, making always, it nasty. Always just like people sleeping under a jacket everywhere and shit. Mm. The hood's the hood, man. <sighs> Those are always the worst horror stories in Philly, yeah. One time up the street, not that far, I got like I couldn't get out of dirt that was pretty much mixed with sewage like i had to have somebody dig my back leg down that was pretty gross i had it all over my hands Ew. yeah it was like a sewer was backed up and we were That's digging a nightmare so as you were putting the dirt back like the backing up sewer was like mixing with dirt it just made like a shit stew and i had to put a fucking curb stop together and while i was doing it i was young i was stupid I you're just standing kinda, in the fucking poop and i just kind of sunk and then i couldn't get my foot out i had to like oh, take man. my foot out of my boot come on man yeah. i would honestly i would ask to be put down if, yeah, I, would, <laughs> if, I, if I needed to be pulled out of shit i, know, I would but, say someone i know one of you has a gun shoot me in the head but imagine like loving clean water and drainage dude. Yeah. imagine being like i know oh, mm-hmm. I do yeah, envy. yeah yeah imagine being like oh, that's what I'm here for, dude. Hey, you're in Fuck. the trenches, brother. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, that, dude, oh my yeah. God, the, virtu- woke up the virtuous morning. plumber. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. Yeah. Love it, dude. Not the plumbing yeah. paladin. Yeah. Oh, it. no, he's glowing. Now, Shit. When you interacted with all those Amish guys about the dogs, did any of them, like, step up and see your logo on your shirt and be like, I also plumb? Well, no, so, like I said, he was a concrete guy, dude. You know, everybody... They they might have <laughs> qualified for the domestic violence discount. I think Amish people <laughs> smack their wives. I think it's probably pretty common. No, yeah. well, yeah, that's that, they got rough hands too. Yeah. Fuck. Mm. What do you? Th- what race do you think is the worst to be a domestic do- uh, abused by? Uh, easiest Asian. Easiest, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got the. That's you know, almost a fair fight. Yeah, <laughs> you just got <laughs> you smaller man. Mm-hmm. All right, I would say. Um, Latino is difficult because uh, they love hard. That's a, the, yeah, they're the, both high. The, the yeah, the they, worst got to be like Dominicans because it's like even if you speak Spanish, you're probably like, what the fuck is he saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they got they're nuts. Dominicans are crazy mean people. <laughs> yeah, that's why yeah, Puerto Ricans and Dominicans have a rivalry. Yeah, yeah. true. Uh, ro- domestic abuse rivalry. Yeah, or? I guess so. But I roofed with some guys, and they were just like. Yeah, and I that's like, tough to live yeah. among. To live among that, yeah. and you don't really ever get a feel for who's who. Yeah. It was terrifying. I said that every you, day. I didn't know. Like it, it felt like a real free for all, just walking yeah. from my house to the train station because it was just like a hostile environment, and you didn't know. Like you just it, you were blind to it. Yeah. It was fucked up. That's uh, pretty cool though. I, I roofed with this guy Jose when I was younger, and I remember being like, Jose, why do Puerto Ricans hate Dominicans? And he said, They don't be respecting nobody's old lady, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so obviously Dominican fucked Jose's wife. Ooh. Yeah, he probably went nuts. That's got to be. Yeah. That's got to be really. I mean, that's everyday life on a roof, man, in Philadelphia. Just Dominican dudes fucking your girlfriend. Yeah. Well, think about it. Like you're roofing yourself day after day. Like that's that's disrespecting <laughs> yourself. Yeah. Like you don't roof anything you like. I remember coming home. This guy. It was like come home from work. It was like. Dude, I killed it. I got a $20 day raise. And I was like, man, everybody's either got AIDS or is on heroin. I was like, I outworked them all, dude. <laughs> I was making a buck 20. I remember getting that $20 an hour raise. I was hype as shit, dude. Fucking 17, 18 years old. Fucking working with a bunch of felons. I was the only one with like a clean driver's license. I was the best roofer ever. You felt like you were yeah. killing it even then? Oh, hell yeah. I didn't know you came from roofing. Is this yeah, new did, lore? I, I did like a summer winter. Is this new tubs lore? I did like a summer winter summer, right? So like I remember like begging my teacher to give me a D so I could graduate. I went to summer school. I went 12 months a year. I went to summer school. You know? Male teacher or female? So it was uh, Miss Uremko, just this old pipe in the lady, okay. dude, just smoking cigarettes between every period. Do you remember her? She, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never had her. Yeah. So she, um, it was like a fucking Cisco class, which was like making websites. I remember being like, yo, this is it for me. Like I start roofing Monday. Like I just need a D. Like if I wait, was to, Kenny Zilka in that class? Yeah, oh, yeah, I was in yeah. there too. Yeah, oh, maybe you were. And Kenny, yeah. all Kenny. It's so funny. So I went to Arizona and hung out with Kenny, and all he used to draw. He was such a good drawler. Was big titted Egyptian bitches and shit, right? And like Mayan fucking hot bitches, right? And now he's married to exactly who he used to draw. <laughs> he has this beautiful wife. This is a vision board, bro. Dude, he, I, I, we said driving from 
tombstone to where he lives in Mesa. I was like, dude, you married exactly who you used to draw. And we laughed so fucking hard. We laughed for 10 miles, dude, uh, because it's so true. He's got this, like, beautiful that wife nuts. from he met in Arizona and shit. Dude, I pulled up to his house and had grass out front and shit. Did you ever think that dude would have grass, bro? <laughs> he's the man. <laughs> Yo, he's clearly he's the, the greatest. Wow. And he works for a plumbing company in the call service. He said, I hate it plumbing so fucking much, dude. He said, I work for a company with 200 people. He said... I got a job. He said, I'm the only man that works inside, and I love it, dude. Yeah. Real strange yeah. guy. Killing he's a, love him. Yeah, he's one of, yeah, this guy's a one of a kind. Yeah, but that was her That was her class. Uh, he I has remember- another story that needs to be recorded. Uh, <laughs> I, he, this, okay, uh, did, correct me if I'm wrong, but Kenny Zelko, who we're talking about, had he had a an, an overnight switch either to or from, he, I think he went from New Metal to Wigger. Overnight. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh, over like flip like, the switch. Yo, know, snakes in the pencil case, right? To like page sixty-five in the Gap catalog, like overnight. Yeah. And that was his thing. He said, Why? "I realized where the pussy was." <laughs> yeah. yeah. He best. said, "Like," <laughs> he told me, "He said, dude, you think I would he ever said, get the pussy results are in with a snake in a fucking yeah?" Thing? He went from Ramstein. Yeah. He was like a yeah. dude. It was Ramstein merch every day. Yeah. And then the next day, it was like Polo. Yeah, the best dude. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> yo, I and he pulled this, it off. Yeah. He, dude, it's stuck. And then, <laughs> he started, and then he started speaking Spanish. Oh. And he was a pussy machine for a while, I heard. Wow. Yo, so I know some dudes that were like, yo, like Kenny was it out here. And like I said, he married this. And she's so cool, man. We had so much fun with them. We went man. and chilled. We saw a wow. lot. Tombstone. Tombstone's a cool place. And there was a bike gang in there. And, uh. They were called the Loose Cannons. And listen, they were a real <laughs> bike gang, and they looked like they But, like, I couldn't help but be like, ah, like, what are you, a bunch of Loose Cannons? Like, I could imagine sitting around my boys like, all right, hold up, right? This is Sour Country. <laughs> or the Loose Cannons, you know what I mean? Like, ah, Loose Cannons, you know? I'm crazy. I mean, they were, <laughs> yeah, they were... I mean, they look like they'd fuck us up, but... And Kenny had to, like, stop me from talking shit. Kenny was like, yo, you don't understand. Like, we're in Tombstone, Arizona. He was like, they're going to beat us up, and no one's going to come. <laughs> he was like, they're just going to... Yeah, they're going to piss on you <laughs> yeah, on the ground. He was like, like you're going to drag us out there. They're going to beat the shit out of us. Whiskey you know? Ritalin said plumbing call center have to have the best calls. That's true. <laughs> yo. <laughs> That's true. Being in the in the phone bank for just dudes going like, oh, no, please. <laughs> Yo, people are called plumber places are mean as shit. They need to cool out, dude. They be calling, yeah. People, it's not like when you they when you, poop themselves into a financial yeah, problem. Exactly. There's, there's no word. That might be the worst mood yeah. uh, available. I agree. You call somewhere because you want something. Is that like, yo, let me get a pizza? But you're calling, calling a dentist with a toothache yeah. and calling a plumbing, mm, calling yeah. a plumber with like moisture in your house is just like, no, dude. Yeah, I'm people, like, people are pretty honorary usually. You need to have a, you need to have a gentle touch for these freaks. Yeah, I got skills. Are people ever emotional when they call you? Oh, uh, yeah, I get some little Asian lady cried the other day, uh, or like this is a couple months ago, but my guy slammed her door in her face. She was crying. She was acting crazy. He said like, "Yo, like I just got to get the fuck out of there." And I'm like, "Yeah, I get it." You Did know? you make him tell her that he was so sorry? Uh, I <laughs> yeah, I called her and I was like, "I'm so sorry." Like, you know, but. He said, I'll retrain like, him on closing yeah, doors. Yeah, yeah. But and he was and he's the man. Like he's the sweetest guy. This lady he apologized. was. Did he go? Oh, yeah, man, I he, lost my cool. Oh my god, he was. I thought about it all weekend. He's like he's the man. Oh no. But but this chick, she's like she's a psychopath. You mm. know what I mean? Like she's she's a fucking lunatic. You know what I mean? She oh, don't leave no. me alone. So you get a lot of fucking that. Like I mean, a, an old Jewish lady told me she's disappointed in me the other day. And oh. I was like, yo, I said, please call another plumber. And she said, no, no, no. We already started. I was like, all right, just. Bring that fucking money on Friday, dude. You know what I mean? I'm fine. <laughs> you know, I'll deal with it. But I'm I'm good. I I can deal with like the worst people. You know, they just you got to give them to me. I tell the girls in the office, you just got to give them to me. Is there a oh, secret God. tradesman group where you can talk shit about customers? Say, don't deal with this person. No. So I've had this idea my whole life, dude. Uh, reverse fucking, Yelp. Or yeah, reverse Yelp. Yelp is gay shit, and it's like imagine a <laughs> motherfucker cooks 800 omelets, and I got I got five stars, motherfuckers. Like my shit's straight. But imagine a dude cooks fucking 40 omelets today. He makes one shitty and you're on here talking fucking mm. shit. You know what I mean? You're running your fucking mouth. I think what you're yeah. describing, this is a I social credit score. Reverse Yelp. Okay. Yeah. So, you like, know? I should be able to put a customer on there. Yes. And be like, to all contractors, this, like, dude's actually this a bitch, bitch is dude. nuts. <laughs> yeah. Like, 
You know what I mean? She's There's a crazy. reason why my guy is slamming doors in Wing Wong's face. Yeah, Honestly, you right. could probably make money doing this. There's probably a way you could sell like yeah. advertising as long as you had like a functioning. Ad. Actually, can we? I, f- I feel like you can't. It, it, what's fucked up is you can insult companies and sh- stuff like that. And you can insult, but like, but are, say you, it to are my you face. really allowed to like? You're put a to my face guy. Are, are you? Re- yeah. Are you really allowed to put somebody's address out there? Like, yo, don't work at fucking this fucking house because this person's a jerk off. Like, they probably frown upon that. Hmm. I would think. Yeah, but then wouldn't that be a great motivator to a- avoid being on that list? Yeah, fucking right. Yeah. The I naughty think, list. Yeah. Oh, we call the naughty list. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck HIPAA laws, dog. There's no plumber's code. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got one company that won't pay me that can suck my cock. They owe me like twenty seven hundred. I I got bumper name stickers them. made. Yo, name yeah, Fortis <laughs> Construction. Fortis Construction can fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate it. I hate that motherfucker. <laughs> 2700 and it ain't even a principal thing. I'm coming for you. I told you already. I fucking <laughs> asked you. I said that. I got bumper stickers. I got all kinds of fucking signs. And it's the principal thing. I don't need your money, pussy. Dude, first ever plumbing yeah. promo. Yeah. Yes, dude. Yeah. You rip, man. Yeah. What a what a cocksucker, man. Yeah. Dude. No, ma- yeah. no way. And some some other dude, some foreign dude called me. And he was cool as fuck, and he's like, yo, he burnt me too, but he removed his review. So, I don't, like, maybe they paid him, but he said they owed him, like, 20 stacks or something. Yeah, he, I, I think he got paid, like. Wow, this guy sounds like a real crumb bum. Oh, uh, yeah, he's just, you know. Them Although, yeah, I, you know, I'm only hearing one side of the story. Don't, yeah, I'm not going to cast aspersions. Yeah, is it my, that the truth. This but, is obviously, though, this is my boy, and I will swing yeah. on you, but I'm just saying. I, you know, I don't, I, he, you know, who knows what he says, you know? Yeah, I but, know what I mean, say. wow, pretty damning yeah. stuff. I wonder if uh, we can get some kind of response. <laughs> Dude, I've tried. <laughs> what, what if we, uh, what if I, we made a reel and tag them in it on Instagram? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and just like, <laughs> yeah. some fucking like dumb bitch that works for a company, she's like, what the fuck is this? Listen, I fucking reached out to the dude. I've always been polite. It's the first time I was nasty about it. Because you ain't catching me on no text messages or no bullshit being a jerk off, right? Right. Because I would love to see him in person. And it's, it's just the principle. Like, we did so many little dumb jobs for this guy, answered so many fucking questions, and then they just ghost people, make up shit about credit cards and all kinds of lies. Like, mm. uh, No. Yeah, we need to get him. No. Yeah, fuck that dude. It's on site, I guess. Yeah, on site. But that's, I could never... Imagine getting a little fist fight today. Oh my god! Cameras everywhere. The days of knocking somebody out in the supermarket and just going home are over. We could probably uh, like you know what I mean. There's a camera everywhere. Never Toast. be. We yeah. should. We could go find. We could. We could just look up where their offices are. I know. And go there today. Yeah. Want to go do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going to get a GoPro and go to their office. <laughs> Confront. What's them? up now? What's up, pussy? So that, that was another. Come thing. outside then. That was another thing. I thought like you can't do that. You can't run up on a guy. But you can say he's a piece of shit forever. And there's nothing anybody can do about that. I suppose not. Yeah. I mean, I hope they don't. I hope they don't have friends that have a slightly more popular podcast where they can now clown us <laughs> and make us look fucking stupid. Celebrity boxing match. Yeah, fucking roof meat. <laughs> <laughs> we had her out there, dude. The easiest person mm-hmm. in the world to burn is a contractor. Like, mm-hmm. steal twenty seven hundred off a. Of- Home Depot, I think that's over the limit in Philly or whatever. You might do it's three. A felony. Yeah, you might do three months or whatever. You know, mm. fuck around and beat your local contract that ain't shit anybody's gonna do. You know? No, I'm sure. I'm sure you could uh, have like a nephew beat up someone in their family or something. <laughs> yeah. that, that's legit. Yeah, that's have you got a nephew on retainer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no more. Yeah, do you have any Kyles? <laughs> yeah, not no more. They're all they're all older. Yeah, but yeah, cocksuckers. I just by and large are people pretty good uh, to deal with business wise. Ah, uh, fucking right. Um, he, he, like the the more you the, the better you treat people, the more like transparent you are. That's been it for me. Um, I have very few problems, you know, with with getting paid from people and shit like that. It's it's usually they always got slick back haircuts, dude. They always got black hair tight to their head with mm. the fucking mm. shit in it. But that's usually who it is. Um, some kind of fucking uh, property Vampire. manager or, or contractor or something. They're the people that burn you. The regular people are cool for the most part. You know? Damn. Yeah, I know. I met a lot of lawyers like that. Yo, can I like this? Vile people. Yeah, please. Tubbs, uh, you got enough time to stick around for a Patreon? Yeah, man. I'm in here. Um, me and Tim are getting fucked up. This is it for us. All right. Uh, nothing to do. You want to speak, uh, speak about your business? <laughs> oh, see, that always gets me because I never know what to say. 
Uh, dude, the Clean Water Act, 1972, right? Get your backflows. If you see any of your boys in their commercial buildings that don't have backflows, snitch on them. Let me know, all right? We're backflow certified these days. I'm the backflow champ of the world, right? We're Clean Water Act. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn. Well, friends, May 18th, I'd love for you to come see me headline Soul Joles in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Um, and check out Tim Butterley's show on YouTube and audio. And um, th and that's it. And and follow me on stuff. Thank you for joining us. This is this has been a let me let me say, I've had the best time ever. And thank you guys very much. Oh yeah, buddy. Uh, I'm not going to promote anything this week. I just want to give a heartfelt thank you to Alan Aldridge and everybody at Porch Fest for having me and the Do Rag Boys. You guys really went above and beyond. Showed us the nicest fucking time in the world. Columbus, Mississippi is so fucking beautiful. You know what? The country's fucking beautiful. Like, America really is a beautiful fucking place. And when you get out to fucking explore, you realize that more and more. Yeah. So we get kind of butt fucked here being, uh, being, uh, having the Northeast shoved in our assholes. But the rest of the country is pretty fucking beautiful. So a little bit of majesty. It really is, man. It really, sometimes you got to suck on a little bit of majesty. But thank you to Alan Aldridge and everybody at Porch Fest. Uh, it's just an incredible event. I can't wait to do it next year. And, uh, Going to be bigger and better, and uh, Alan's the man. And the uh, place where they had is called Munson and Brothers, so support that place. They rule. They were super kind to us. And thank you to all the bubs who came out to the shows. We did a live podcast one night, and then we did stand-up the next, and a bunch of people came out to see us, and it was just the fucking best, man. You guys fucking rule, and uh, thank you for all the support and everything. And we'll see you over on the Patreon in a few minutes, patreon.com slash podcast. If you're not a patron yet, you can pay whatever the fuck you want. Just join us over there in a few minutes. We'll be back with more tubs. Tubbs, you are the fucking best, dude. Number one man in America. Later, later bubs. <laughs>